The next Spotlight Terror Raid event has been announced in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all of the details when this will be happening and what Pokemon you're going to be able to obtain in this event. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So with the Valentine's Tandem House event coming to a close last night, we had the announcement at midnight of the brand new Terror Raid that will be happening this week. If we hop over onto the Japanese website, so we can have a look at the notice and this friday the 17th until sunday evening we will have a brand new five star terror raid event spotlight event for garchomp and sylvian so a little bit unlike the version exclusive events that we've had before I'm presuming that both of these pokemon are going to be available within the spotlight terror raid event and the details suggest that that is what will be happening the event, as I say, will be running from the 17th of February until February the 20th, which will be midnight on Sunday. So it won't be running until Monday. But as always, if you download this event into your game and you want to keep it for longer, just don't go online after the event expires and you'll keep the Terror Raid Spotlight event in your game. They will be just four and five star Terror Raids. And like most of the other Spotlight Terror Raid events we've had, they are going to have signature terror types attached to them. The Garchomp will have its ground typing terror type and Sylveon will have fairy typing. Although they will appear with various other terror types in this spotlight event. So you're going to be able to grab these Pokemon with an array of different terror types. Which is always good to add to the collection. Which saves you kind of having to farm for terror shards and change them that way. And that is about everything we've got for information wise up to this point. It is a very exciting event. Of course, these terror raids, although they are still four and five star, not the higher ones like the six and seven. They are going to be a lot more difficult than something like the Tandem House. So we will probably do a best builds for this raid event, which we'll try and get up on the channel tomorrow to go over some of the best options that you can take into these terror raids to beat these Pokemon super easily. But a nice event for us to have two very strong Pokemon and pretty rare Pokemon to get as well, which are going to be useful for anyone's collection. Now, leading into this announcement, I was really expecting us to get the next seven star terror raid event. You can see we've got the Valentine day event there ending and then this one announced at midnight and i was really like always we get the spotlight terror raid event for the coming week and then the following week we get the seven star raid event announced this hasn't happened yet so expecting this to maybe drop when this event ends on the sunday night at midnight so we've got then a week to prepare for it because the next seven star terror raid event that will be happening will be coinciding with Pokemon Day. So whether or not they're gonna keep the seven star raid event until Pokemon Day, until the Pokemon Direct, whenever that will be around that weekend of the 27th, or if they'll just drop it on the Monday to give players time to prepare for it because these seven star raids, as we know, they do need a little bit of preparation because of the difficulty rating of these. But let me know down in the comment section below what you think the next seven star terror raid event will be. I've got some ideas on what I think it'll be. I think they went fire fire with the Charizard, the Cinderace, then we've had Greninja. So whether or not they're keeping a fire fire, water, water, grass, grass pattern, that could be debatable. So Samurott could be something that we see in the next event. It would be amazing if we got something like Hisui and Samurott, of course, or they might just go for a grass type, uh, keep him with that fire, water, grass theme. And then something like Decidueye would be an option there because we know it is in the game data and will be available from home once that compatibility is there. The other thing to think about is because of Pokemon Day, they might do a very special raid event for the seven star and something like Mewtwo could be the option there or another legendary Pokemon that you're able to catch, maybe not catch, maybe battle and then catch at a later point. Who knows, something along the same lines as that Zero Aura Dynamax event that we had a couple of years ago with Sword and Shield where players had to go in and beat the Zero Aura a number of times and then a shiny one was distributed if a certain number was hit and uh, that was a really cool event so we might see something a little bit like that but i'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this new seven star raid event i'm really looking forward to hearing the announcement and getting ourselves a new exclusive pokemon from these raid dens but thank you for tuning in friends that's everything that we're covering today as i say i will put a best build up on the channel tomorrow for this new spotlight terror raid event so keep an eye out for that 
do hit the like button if you found this video useful and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these updates as soon as they do drop as well as all of our other Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. So until then, friends, take care and bye-bye.